Hello, everyone. You're listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host for today, Tabitha Moretto. Our guest today is Dr. Belinda Beck. She recently co-founded the Bone Clinic, which is an innovative translational research facility and health service with a focus on safe and effective exercise for osteoporosis. With all that said, welcome to the show, Belinda. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be here. So, Belinda, so can you please explain exactly what is osteoporosis and what causes this? Well, in lay terms, osteoporosis is a condition where people have reduced bone and what what that means is that they are more at risk of fracture from things that ordinarily wouldn't cause a fracture and we call them minimal trauma fractures. So uh, sometimes when it's very bad, people can even fracture just by sneezing, uh, but things that are a little more... Um, Related to strength would be perhaps picking up a grandchild or uh, carrying very heavy shopping bags. So oftentimes those fractures occur in the spine and they can result in that uh, that dowager's hump shape that we're all familiar with. Uh, but more um, a more dramatic kind of fracture is at the hip and that is the one that most of us are very concerned about because that really reduces people's independence and their quality of life. I see. So can you please share with us, what is the latest development happening at the Bone Clinic? Well, the Bone Clinic is a translational research facility where we apply the outcomes of um, an evidence-based exercise intervention uh, into the real world, basically. For years, we've studied the effects of exercise on, on bone and on osteoporosis, and the results have been pretty unremarkable, and many doctors think that because of those results that exercise is not really a useful therapeutic intervention. But the reality is, uh, in the past, we've been testing the wrong kind of exercise. So we we think that we have finally found the right recipe, and it's a pretty high-intensity form of exercise. Uh, And the reason why we have opened the clinic is because uh, it's a bit of a catch-22, because with very low bone mass, predisposing to an increased risk of fracture, if you do high-intensity exercise, you must do it when you're supervised and using very correct technique. So the bone clinic provides the location to do that with highly trained coaches to uh, on, a, on an 8 to 1 ratio. So we don't have these huge exercise classes. Everybody is, is watched and we uh, deliver this evidence-based exercise program to improve people's bone and reduce their risk of fracture. Wow, it sounds like you're doing wonderful things at the Bone Clinic. I'm very fascinated with this information. So can you tell me, uh, how can I find out, for example, if I have weak bones and what can I do to prevent osteoporosis? Well, um, if you're you're clever, you uh, consult your doctor uh, and he'll ask you about certain risk factors that you may have, for example, family history or um, uh, those, those kinds of things. If there's a a risk, then they will send you for a bone density test. And that scan will tell you uh, whether you've got high or low bone mass and how that compares to people who are roughly uh, your own age and and gender. And if it's low, then uh, there there are actually criteria that will categorize you as osteoporotic. And then your doctor would probably refer you to... um, a facility either like ours, there are not terribly many of those I have to say, uh, or they'll prescribe medications uh, and probably talk to you about uh, your diet. Very good information. So uh, Belinda, uh, can you tell me uh, what specific kind of people are more prone in getting osteoporosis? Is it based on gender? Do more women get it than men? Yeah, there are definitely some very distinct risk factors. Age is the biggest risk factor because as we age, we tend to lose bone. We we have the most bone we're ever going to have really between the age of 20 and 30. And after that, unfortunately, it's all downhill. So age is the biggest risk factor. Being female is also a very profound risk factor. Uh, And if you look uh, at your parents and your grandparents and see anybody that has that typical dowager's hump, there's, that means that genetically you're probably predisposed. Uh, if you find as you're aging that you're losing height, a considerable amount of height, 
then that may also be indicative of um, some vertebral fractures um, and osteoporosis. Okay, thank you for sharing that information. Now, Belinda, can you tell me what is the biggest misconception about osteoporosis that you want to clear today? Well, I suppose the one that's most relevant to us uh, is this misconception that exercise can't help you. Um, most people think that the best that exercise can do is help you sort of uh, maintain bone. But we know now that um, just a very specific kind of exercise can make you grow bone. But most importantly, we know that the majority of osteoporotic fractures are a direct result of a fall and that the, uh, what, what occurs, uh, the reason why falls occur is because of um, muscle weakness, lower extremity muscle weakness. So not only are the exercises um, really important for building bone, but they're important for building muscle strength and preventing falls. Wow, that's very interesting. Thank you so much for clearing up that misconception, Belinda, because to tell you the truth, I myself believed that misconception before regarding uh, you can't exercise when you have osteoporosis or you can't move too much. So thank you very much. I really appreciate you clearing up that misconception. You're welcome. So now, uh, Belinda, this is interesting. Uh, what is the reason, uh, what got you interested in the bone clinic and osteoporosis? Well, I suppose as a... As um, an academic and a scientist, for years I've been interested in the effect of mechanical loading on bone, partly because as an athlete I used to suffer from stress fractures, and so I began looking at the effect of too much exercise on bone. Um, but it became very obvious to me throughout my research career that it, uh, the problem of uh, osteoporosis was a far more profound one. Uh, stress fractures will eventually sort of heal themselves, but osteoporosis, if nothing is done, will just get worse. And in fact, uh, for men, uh, having an osteoporotic fracture at the hip is, uh, is, has a relatively high likelihood of um, causing death, um, particularly as men uh, in, at very old age. So it can be a really very um, uh, a mortal injury, um, not possibly acutely, but the effects of somebody becoming bedridden or losing their independence, certainly many people end up in nursing homes after they've had a hip fracture. Um, it is a, uh, a condition that I see my friends and relatives developing, and so I suppose just wanting to make a difference uh, makes you sort of head in those, those research directions. Um, I have many students who are also interested in the field, and so we look at all sorts of other elements uh, in relation to the, the, the disease such as vitamin D and calcium and their relationship to uh, somebody's um, risk for, for developing the condition. A while ago you mentioned about the importance of uh, exercise and physical activity. So can you explain why is physical activity very important when it comes to managing osteoporosis? Well, I suppose the, uh, the, there are very, definitely two ways to look at that question. The first one is uh, if you load bone up, it tends to adapt. Um, if, you, if you unload bone, like you send an astronaut into space, you lose bone because the, the skeleton perceives that it doesn't need to be as strong. But if you load it up with extra exercise, it recognizes that it needs to be strong so it's not injured. So it's a very natural response, and we can harness that to, um, to treat osteoporosis by loading the bone so it adapts. But as I mentioned before, falls are so incredibly important to, um, to, uh, to the cause of osteoporotic fracture. Exercise is absolutely vital for maintaining lower extremity strength uh, by exercising the muscles uh, and that way preventing falls that actually cause the fractures. I mean, 90% of hip fractures are a direct result of a fall. You may have very low bone mass, but if you never fall, uh, you may not ever really suffer from one of these, uh, these osteoporotic fractures. So the falls are absolutely vital, and I can't, I can't emphasize that enough. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Belinda, for sharing this information with us. Now, can you tell us, what is your main takeaway message to all of our listeners out there? Well, uh, you are never too old to exercise. Even if you have um, a diagnosis of osteoporosis, 
uh, exercise is extremely important to preventing an osteoporotic fracture. Uh, if you want to exercise to the extent that you will grow bone, you need to do that in a supervised manner, and that's the sort of exercise that we do at the bone clinic. But if you just want to prevent falls, then virtually any form of um, uh, muscle strengthening exercise will be good for you and is highly recommended. Uh, if you're very, very frail and you're not able to walk alone, then you have to make sure that you uh, walk with somebody uh, that can help prevent you from falling. Fantastic message, Melinda. Thank you so much. And now for our last question for today, what's the best way to contact you guys at the Bone Clinic? Well, there's a couple of ways. Um, if, you're, if you're local, you, um, you can call our, our phone number, which is double three nine one double five one zero. But otherwise, just going to our Bone Clinic website, which is just theboneclinic.com.au, uh, we've got all the information on there, lots of information about what we do, uh, what our exercise schedule is, what our, how we run the research side of things, uh, who our staff are, uh, where we are, of course, and some, also some really important testimonials from people who go talking about their experience there and, uh, and the results that they've gained after training with us. Okay, thank you so much, Belinda, and thank you for coming on the show. I really appreciate your time. You're welcome. My pleasure. And that was Dr. Belinda Beck from the Griffith University in the School of Allied Health Sciences and co-founder of the Bone Clinic. We have just been talking about the Bone Clinic and osteoporosis. If you like this interview, transcripts and archives are available at www.hpr.fm. We are on all social media platforms, so don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe. We're also available for download on SoundCloud and iTunes. I'm Tabitha Moretto, and you're listening to Health Professional Radio.